Hello, this is Tony of Tony's Music. I'm just starting off on Affinity Designer and I'm going to show you how to do a character and put it into Cartoon Animator 4 ready for animating and I'm going to go step by step. Well, now, I'm in Affinity Designer so I need to design it from scratch so we're going to start off with a new document A4 and Portrait create that right now we'll get a circle we're gonna get like that and convert to curves and node tool right the node tool at the top so that way we can adjust this in a bit like that and in a bit like that maybe and move that a bit there in a bit like that as well and that a bit there as well that's it a bit, a bit of a different shape to a circle now uh, it looks more like a, a human maybe then what we'll do is just add some colour to it like that right, there's the colour right um, now you can either draw a nose on it like that if you want to um, or you can put circles on for eyes like that and uh, like that and copy paste and grab hold of it put it over the side and do it again or you can actually do paste again paste reduce in size up to blow right and then copy paste over there oops undo no. click on that now just put that over there oh, I'll undo the back so it needs to go to the front move to front like that We've got his eyes there and if you wanted to add pupils on there all you do is you just click on paste again and then you change the colour to black reduce it in the middle like that, and then copy paste take it over there we go we got well oh, that one's back again. What we need to do is do arrange move to front. Right, so there's it there's a character with some eyes and a weird nose and maybe a big smiley face. There you go. Like that. I mean that's it's, it's just a bit fun, I'm just doing it like that, but you can add things like this, I'm just showing you what you can do, right? Um, that this is just um, just to show you can actually put things on the things and use that as a as a whole part. So what I need to do now is just click on all that, save that, and put that as group. Group it, and you can say that's a head. I'm going to name it head. Like that. Okay. Now we need a little um, colour there, and that's got to have a bit of a. So I've got it about five point five. Put that at the back. Arrange, move to back. Like that. So that's his neck, right? Then you got your jumper or your, your um, torso, I should say really. Your torso on here. Now you can have a. You can do it like that. Or you can just do the top part like that. Um, change the colour to a red, for example. Or pink, that is. Red. And then add another piece to the bottom. Either that. Oops. 
and below it. Let's do, let's do a square. That's it. Add another place there like that. It's covering that bit. Like that. And then you can do pull it down a little touch and change that to blue or something. Right. So say he's got blue pants on or something or trousers. Right. All short even. Right. So there you go. Right. That's that. And then with that. You're gonna we're gonna do now is you're gonna click on this I'm gonna moment just gonna get me hands ready and I need to click that and click the bottom one now that's the neck the shoulder area and the hip area and we're gonna um, group them group them as one right and that's gonna be called the hip we'll call it the hip there's a reason why we call it the hip um, as well as that you can put things on there like you can have an emblem or something on it if you want to now say if it's a footballer you'd have an emblem on wouldn't you let's see um, let's do this let's do a little emblem on there like in light blue and let's just convert to curves that and then just do that and then bring that down here like that that looks, looks like a little badge then you can put something on it like a, I don't know a line or something like that. anything that looks like resembles something like that then we do that bring it down a little bit so it's a little bit more of a badge like that and we go put that on there Ah, so, it, so it looks like it's part of it then them two can go on the hip as well that's it that's all part of the same group right then you've got the arms with the arms what I suggest you do is pick up this um, rounded rectangle and you can actually you could just do a little bit at first because you want the red bit you want it to be the same colour as that red on there really and then um, do that right and then have it to a certain length and then just swing it like that swing it about something like that it needs to be a bit smaller than that because I don't want to catch the thing okay that's going to go a bit behind anyway, hopefully. Arrange, move to back, like that. So it shouldn't catch that anyway, so hopefully we should be alright. And then you can do the rest of the arm with another one of these. And we can do straight from about, oops. Sorry about that. I keep doing that for some reason, I don't know why I keep doing that. Right, so just do the rest of the arm. And I need the colour the skin so put that there and we do use the arrow thing to get that arrow back on there then we can do that and put that there uh, pull it up a bit that's it we got it like that and we put that one range move back right and we can add those two together to make them the arm, right? And one moment, I'll just do that. So, right, group that together as our arm. So that's the right arm, isn't it? Our oh, left arm, sorry. That's not moving me today. I keep forgetting what I'm doing. Right, that's the left arm. And we'll put AEM for some reason. left arm right now what we need to do is just copy that paste and flip it we've got the right arm right okay that's fine I can re reduce the size of everything in a sec 
That's what I'm going to do because I need to make it smaller a little bit. Uh, I just need to get on that one. Do it properly. Bring it down. Like that. And bring it across to the middle. That's it. So I've got plenty of room. Right. Now, with the legs, you can either have a full length of trousers or you can have it as um, just the legs like that. Do it. Whichever way you is, is suitable for you. What I would suggest is you do what you did with the um, the the arm. I like do a little bit of that in blue, the same colour as that pants, like that. and then take it into there, like that. You can have it whichever way you want then, because it'll be easier for it to move about. If it's the same colour, you won't see any difference, it'll look okay. Right, right then, and then you do another one of them. Well, you can do that again, like all you do is just copy, copy, paste, and then bring it down, like that, and then change the colour to that one. Copy, like that. Right, so that's that. And then you just make that one larger, a little bit going up there, like that. Make sure it's underneath the other one, though, obviously. Like right, so you have to put that one underneath, arrange, move to back, like that. Right, now that's the whole other leg there. And what we do is we'll put them together, uh, group. And that's right leg or right thigh as I'm going to put it half thigh yeah thigh right and then we can do copy paste and then swap and then take that one out of that side and that's the left thigh just change the L on that one. That's the L on me. Left thigh. Right. There we go. That's our character. Except for we just need his hands and his feet. Basically. Right. So. I do is just get another one of these for his hand. And we're just going to do something with this. Or oh, just doing convert to curves. And then we're going to do. Pull up. Oh. I ain't done that. We've got convert to curves on, but I haven't got this on. The nav tool. Right, now, with the nav tool, what you do is you get one of these, pull it up like that. Pull this one across this way a bit more. Pull that one in that way a little bit, and then pull this one up a little bit. That looks more like a hand, doesn't it? Right, now we can do that again. I'm going to make it make it different to any which way you want you know add to it or take away from it that looks all right that looks reasonable i mean you can do the full fingers if you want to no uh, but that that's the easy way of doing it to make it look okay ish um that's the other one that's and over there look say right so we do that pull that down a bit Right, and put that. I can put that in there, in there in a minute. That's that hand. Like that. Copy. Paste. And switch. And that one goes over there. So he's got his hands and everything like that. Just needs his shoes now or his feet. Whatever way you want to call it. And to do that, we just do the same again with this, put that down there like that and give it a good I see it probably make them black and uh, go back to curves now tool click on somewhere around there bring that up and bring this across this way across this way 
Run across a bit there. That looks like a shoe there so far. Just need to pull that down there. And pull this up like that. Pull that up like that. There you go. It's like a, more like a boot now. Right, because that's what they wear boots, isn't it? Football boots. You can do that, turn that there like that as well. That's better. Right, now I'm just going to click on that like that. I've just changed from the node tool to the move tool, right, to uh, adjust the size like they like that. And you just put that there like that. You can put it, actually make it slightly bigger. And then put that on there like that. And do the same. Copy, paste, and flip. And use the flip on that side on that one. Right, that's it. Now we've got the character with these boots. Actually, he needs his legs a bit smaller, actually. But uh, I'll sort that out in a second. Just get like this and do uh, slightly there. And that one the same as well. Slightly there. And bring that in that way a bit. That's it. This one needs to go back that way a bit more. That's it. Oh, it's still big on that side. That's it. It's alright. That's fine. Right. Now we've got all them and we need to put the names on these as well. Which one I've got? That's the left foot. Right. Yeah. It's best to best to label them all. So you know what you're doing, um, because in a minute we'll need them uh, with the names on as well. So what's that one? That one's the left left hand. And, and the right hand. It helps. It helps if you've got them uh, labelled because I've got to save them as PNGs. And then put them on to a onto a, a template, and then save it as a PSD. Right, this is what I do anyway. This is what the way I do it. So what I do is I get the, each part. So there's the head. File, export. So selection without background. Export as a PNG. Right. I mean, you could save it as a PSD if you wanted to, but I'd save it as a PNG first because these are vector-based. If there wasn't vector-based, if it was a drawing that I've, I've drawn, I'd have to uh, save the whole thing as a PNG and then cut each part off separately and do the same as this then. So it's a bit harder to do um, the hand-drawn ones, actually. But... This is how I do it. I'll save it to my desktop. Uh, I'm going to wait. Let's, let's just see if we can add a, 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 add a file first. Add a new folder. Yeah, new folder free. That's it, I'll do. Put it in there. Right, so I've saved the head, so I'll cut that off. I'll do, all I've done is just knocked it off so it's not visi visible anymore. Right now, click on the he hip. And I'm going to save that file export as section without background PNG, and that's going to be hip on there. Just put hip, right? Okay, and get rid of that. Boing. Now, left arm, let's save that export. Section without background. Is that the left arm? That's the right arm, isn't it? Oh, I know why. I've got it twice as left arm, that's right arm. I forgot to change it to right arm. That's what it is. Right, okay. I thought there was something wrong there. Right, so. Export as right arm. Right arm, 
Save and all mistakes. That's right arm. That's how it can get rid of right arm. Just do right hand now, shall we? Yeah, I might as well do right hand with it. Export. Section with that background. Right hand. Okay, get rid of that. Now, left arm. Oil. Export. Section without background. And turn it up to the left arm one there. Okay. There's a reason why I'm doing this. You'll see in a bit. But it's, it makes it a whole lot easier doing it this way. It works this way. So that's the reason I'm doing it this way, basically. Because it works. Right, so. And that's. Right. We've got that. Export that. Right now. Right thigh. I forgot to do his the other hand then on. I'll do that in a minute. Export as section without background, right thigh. Right thigh. So we've done that. Now do the hand. Let's do that. Export. And just cut that in there and then just take that off there. Right hand. Right, so that's it. Easy way of doing that. Right now it's just the feet. So we've got left foot. Export as a selection without background. And that does that. And then you go to your right foot. I'll tell you why the reason you do this because you're using vectors if you tried making these into PSDs the things that you cut up and the additives don't work what will happen is you'll get part of the picture but not all of it so I'm doing this just to get all the pictures right as as they should be right now I've finished that so I'm just going to click that off now I've saved all them. What I'm going to do is go back on in Affinity Designer again. And this time I'm just going to open a new folder. A new document, I mean, sorry. Um, I4 Portrait again. It's going to be blank. And then what I'm going to do next is I'm going to open a file which I've got on my computer. And I'll show you how to get this after I've uh, showed you what you're going to do with the actual file. Right, so the actual file I've got is here and it's a template and it's a simple template like that. Now that will come on. What I need to do with this is uh, I'm going to keep it there a minute while I'm going to get the other, put the other stuff on here. Right, so what I need to do is go back onto desktop get all my pieces um, where are they they're in that new folder for aren't they get all these pieces on so let's click all them alright so we go uh -uh. we can adjust them as we go along in a minute right 
Right, so we go put that over here a sec, and that over here a sec, and that over here a sec. Right, we'll adjust everything in a bit. Let's just get it there first. Right, I'm missing one foot, are we? Oh, it's over there, the one foot, yeah. Better put these down here actually so we can see them. Um, right, there's his body or torso. That's got to go underneath that, so let's do like that and then range moved back. Right, now right arm. There we go, let's do that and then arrange move to back same with this arm you'll see why I'm doing this in a minute move to back and that's the left hand so I'm just going to go down a bit there it's going to go there this one over there it's going to be down a lot that's about similar to that any it's just to do go down a little bit and that one does like uh -huh. then we got our legs that's the right thigh so on the right side there just do that, oh, that needs to go a bit that way, sorry, didn't mean to do it that way, but there you go, there you go, that's a bit, a bit more, like that, do the same with this one, put that there, that needs to go up a little bit there, put that there, there, put that down a little touch there, right, there his legs on, and his feet on me. Then there. Right. And put I'll put them right in front that way. That's it move that in front. Right. I should put that a bit away actually. More across. Maybe turn a little bit. This one, same thing. There, that needs to go in a bit more. Oh, that's better. Right, so now there's the character. And now what we're going to do is we're going to get this one. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to select all and copy. And I'm going to click on this one and paste it onto here. Then we're going to reduce the size. We've got to reduce the size to bring it up. We're going to reduce the size again. It needs to be a similar size to that character. Uh -uh. Right. Roughly. Roughly about right anyway. There we go, right, and we want to pull that down a little touch like that, bring it up, now you see this cross arrows here, this cross hair section, that's got to be by the feet basically, of your character, where you can, right, so that should be okay, it's roughly about right, right now what, what I'm going to do, I'm going to show you what you got to do next, which is basically we open this up and as you can see there's a load of different things there right which are groups which you need to put all these in now all these images have got to go in them groups so left foot goes go into left foot group right foot into right foot group right thigh into right thigh group left thigh goes into left thigh group and then um, head goes into the head group there hips got to go into the hip group 
There's something else got to be done to that yet, but don't worry about that yet. Right now we've got right arm there. Oops. Right hand. Left hand. And left arm. Right, so them are all in there now. Now what we need to do is go into the hip group. And you'll see there's this here. And that will disappear in a minute when I click that. Right, so that's that gone. Don't need that anymore, so we can get rid of that. So, delete that bit. Now, what we need to do is with this, is click on all these to bring our character parts back up. Uh -uh. Right, so that's all the parts of the character. Obviously, the things are in the wrong order, so we need to put them in the right order for you. Oops, I just done something wrong. Then, just that. I actually move the one foot into another foot on the thing what i need to do is just move that there on top of that one so them are on top right now with the arms you need to put them behind the hip so we're going to put them down down here left arm down here and i think we're going to put the hands down there as well we better aren't we and yeah, so they're behind at the mini. Yeah, that's right. I'm be honest, right? Yeah, right. So that's that's okay. Now what we need to do, we've done that. All that's okay. Then what we need to do is go on uh, this piece, which is RL Bound Human Group. And then if you see left arm there, you click on that. You see this nub here. It points to that nub there. What I usually do is I zoom in to about 200 or something, like that, so you can see clear more clearly. Then the left hand up needs to go the near to the end of the thingy. Eh? The next one down, the left hand there is supposed to be for the wrist, so that's just smack bang on there. Then the left forearm goes where the elbow is, which is smack bang in the middle there, and then the left arm one there that's can't even see that where is it oh it's up there that needs to go right there right on the edge because your thing is round there and that's where it's going to uh, pivot round that area right now you do that with the same with the right on the right hand side you do that one there that one there that one smack bang in the middle of there and that one there right okay so them are okay so we just click off them click off that hip group head nub he's right at the top that should be on the top of the head that's about there that's right that's fine right then the head one there that should be between the nose and the mouth because it's supposed to be at the top of the neck that's where that one is the neck one should be at the bottom of the neck down here and the next one is torso which should be a little bit further down from the neck one about i don't know about it what you say an inch or something like that just below the where the arm the last arm ones are right and then the, the bottom one which is the hip one that should go down a bit to about middle of that there right so that's that so that's where your hip pivots there so that's going to be about right there then the next ones you do after that where am i left thigh you start off with the bottom so we go all the way down to the bottom of here where you see a oh, left toe nub left toe nub is that one left toe nub goes right to the end there then this left toe one goes as close to it as possible not without touching it then the next one goes down here at the bottom of the heel and the next one goes to the ankle about there right then the left shank is actually the knee joint which is there and then the next one 
use a thigh which is going to be the pivot point of your leg there right and that's what you do with the right one as well same thing again now it's, it's not hard it's just a bit of time consuming stuff but you have to do it right to get it working that's what you need to do right so we do that get that there you get them roughly in the same place as each other you, you should you shouldn't go far wrong really and that goes there and I'll show you how to get this after this um, actual um, what do you call it this template right now I've done that that's all done all I need to do now is get it back to the normal view zoom it to fit now, now it's saved I need to select all of it select all you can bring that up like that. select all file export as PSD and that's selection without background and export and I'll say football uh, right footballer right I'm just saving my footballer PSD um, I'm only doing this for you yeah, for um, example purposes I wouldn't do it this bad really um, oh, I'd, want, I'd want to do it better than that to be honest but it's just an example to show you how it works right so now I've done that I'm going to click off that you, actually we should save this so what we'll do is save as footballer AF design like that so I've saved it as footballer AF design now as well That's, that means it's a template for the app I'm on and now what I'm going to do now is go straight on to cartoon animator just click on cartoon animator just give me a couple of seconds should have done that first actually no mind right now we're in cartoon animator I've just got to wait for this to close off right now I just made the PSD what I'm going to do is I'm just going to click on this little icon here which is it says here create character should do, yeah, create character right so that what, that's what we do we go there now we need to go on to new folder 3 which is where all them bits are and there's the footballer PSD just open that and when it opens it should all come up like that once that's opened up like that um, you can click on it you can do whatever you want to do with it if you want to do anything with it you don't have to you can just go click on that which is the stage mode then what you need to do is go on to content manager animation click on the character make sure you've got the character clicked you can either go to motion or action menu if you go to action menu all you do is you go on to action menu you go to g3 character human elastic front because he's front facing go to elastic front oops i've just put it give him all the what's it's now actions right now if i remove object animation i won't be able to do that will i it'll still be on so that's all the actions you can add all them actions straight away now like i'll show you because i've clicked on the action on the front one so if i do uh stand now i could do should we try surprised there you go see surprised but look that's the problem with that right so his arms and that was behind what you need to do if you want to do anything like that you'd have to go out of that on uh, so you'd have to go out of um, thing you'd have to go to back on to composer so we we're doing anything like that you'd have to change to I, mean, I can't get to that there it is I want to get to layer manager but there's got stuff in the way here you won't let me get to it hang on let's cut that out
Right, let's do that. Click off that. There's Layer Mansion, right? Now, what I need to do is um, I need to move the hands above the hands above that there. You have to drag them all back like this. So I hold it for a bit. Sometimes I don't don't catch. Or you can drag that down under that. Hopefully that'll work, yeah. Right now, if I do that, go back onto there. The hands, the hands will come in front, but the arms will be behind. So you watch in a minute when I do it. See what I mean? So you still have to go back, back into that and do it with the. Um, get the arms to be in front so you'd have to go into the layer manager the reason I put the arms behind is because when you're doing uh, running and that the arms are better behind in the running and that see man you cut off that there it is right now let's do put them Put it in from behind them. Oh, ah. Right, that should be okay now. Now, if I do it this time, I'll show you the. What's it now? It'll look all right. See, because his arms are in front, right? But the problem is, he don't look right there. See, that's the trouble. What you could do is you could have um, now line round the red part. Just have line round the white the. the the um, skin coloured part and then it it would probably look better but if you do that then you wouldn't see the arm properly you know what I mean it would just look like it's all one at the top but that's how you do it anyway um, right so that's using the action menus on the, on the on this by clicking on that one right? if, if you don't stop it it'll keep going once you do an action Oh, it's look what's still moving that is there so you have to stop that first and you click on that if you want to put another action in you right click it action menu you can do run like that, and then uh, run to loop um, run to loop again action run three finish right that's the finish view or you can do what I was going to do before, which is, um, well, if I'll delete this again, let's just delete this and then import the character once more. Right now, if I import the character, now he hasn't got any actions on his action menu, I'll show you. Go over there, look, uh, if I right click, action menu, there's nothing on it. Right, so what we're going to do then. We're going to go to um, we need to get off so that's that one we need animation right now we instead of going to action menu we're going to motion instead now we're going to go to g3 character and I'm, 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 I'm human I mean go to elastic front and you can do move so if you wanted to jump into that and it'll jump uh, if you want him to run, he starts off like that. Obviously, his, his hands are behind now again. So, I'd have to go through the layer manager to get that right. And there you go. But this is the way you do it. All this sort of stuff, right? Um, you know, you have, to, you have to watch how the parts of the body are working. You know, so, like I said before, what you do is you go back on to... Uh, what's it the character you need to go on the layer manager let's just take the same manager off it's a pan and then boom that is right now you, all you did do is you move that right to the bottom of there like that and then you should be able to use all them properly once that happened right okay you've gone let's see right go back on to uh, stage mode let's see what we did before look see it's working okay now 
the trouble is that looks funny don't it but that's how you do it anyway um if you need any more help if i've missed anything please let me know um i think that's the best way to show you how to do it is by actually showing you from scratch like that um if you want to embellish the character more that's up to you you know you can do whatever you want with them you can put anything on and uh, do it that way um and it'll make them even better you know with more things on it i mean i think you can do stars on it at all you know that would help but i might do that in the future so i will see but i've only just learned how to do this properly myself so um i hope this has helped you anyway uh, if you like this um tutorial please like and subscribe to townish music and have a good day all right bye bye okay right now to get to the template what you need to do is you go straight to actor character g3 g3 human and scroll down there and the first one you get to that's the first template and that's a simple template and all you have to do is just add your nub your head there your neck one hip, your torso and your hip one there the rest of them are already there so that's it okay if you want to that's it that's how you find the uh, template for that right so that's for just a simple template for a g3 human um, elastic character you could use that one right i hope that helps anyway Thank you.